when people first see reveal, they ask how this reveal compares to uh, the operation of MetroPro, which is the industry standard. So in this tutorial, I'll be uh, discussing MetroPro and its features and how they compare to reveal and the similarities and the differences. So let's first look at uh, MetroPro and get a sense of how it's structured and then look at Reveal. First a little history on MetroPro. MetroPro was created in the late 1980s and uh, has evolved since then. It's a window-based software um, that was really quite unique and uh, advanced for the time frame when DOS was the primary uh, software of the day. Of the day. And, it's, uh, and it gives you this ability to have graphical, a graphical user interface, which is shown here with icons. This is very unique for 1989. But it has the uh, negative feature as, let's say, open this window, and now it's hidden, hiding this icon. We open this one, now I can't see the other window. So even though it gave you great flexibility, it also has the um, problem of having windows upon windows. And so you can have it's uh, structured in a way that uh, can hide things. So over the over time, uh, and especially in the mid and late 90s, uh, more of a web browser approach was brought about. And this is the way um, Reveal is set up. Uh, web browsers have tabs which are shown just like these, which allow you to see, have many more uh, uh, software uh, windows open or screens as we call them. So here we have the main window, the phase, the Zerna keys, and I'll go into detail on these. But you can see there's different uh, available windows, and when you open something, it doesn't fall on top of another object. So you always, uh, you always know you you're not hiding anything. So I say that was that's a uh, initial uh, difference that uh, you might want to look at. The next is that the control of the, of the systems are somewhat similar. In the upper left-hand corner, you have these uh, buttons, measure, analyze, mask data, save, load, calibrate, and reset. These buttons are icons, just like uh, pictorial icons, but these just have words in them. And, I'll, and as I will note, the measure button here is the main control. It's in the upper left. And in reveal, you will see that the control button is also here in the upper left, along with measuring average and the ability to configure them. So everything is tightly coupled together as icons, and everything has a tooltip to let you know what is happening at each one. The next button is the Analyze button, and this is uh, pre present because in the early 1980, late 80s and early 90s, computers were rather slow, and it took 10 seconds to calculate uh, 256 by 256 data set. And with that in mind, you make a small change in the software to, uh, for, for analysis, and if it was always automatically ch analyzing, it would take tens of seconds for every small change. So this allows you to make many changes and then say analyze. So that's an artifact of old computers. Next, next is masking data, which I'll get to uh, later. And then there's saving and loading data, which bring up the Windows uh, interface. And very similarly, in Reveal, you have the ability to save uh, here in, uh, in uh, an operating measurement file or load data. And uh, Reveal has many different um, file formats to save and load data in, which will be covered in a different tutorial. But those include. Uh, MetroPro.dat files and others. So going back to MetroPro, uh, there's a calibrate button, which is the ability to calibrate the size of the aperture or the data, so you know the actual pixel size. And very similarly, in uh, Reveal, there is a icon shown here, which opens up a dialog which allows you to calibrate the um, pixels by either drawing a line across or automatically finds the data and then you just set the value of the pixel size. So instead of having an icon sitting in the row in the upper left, it's sitting up here in the top icon row which is a more modern approach. 
So back to Metro Pro. There's a reset button shown, uh, and that reset is a global reset. It, it makes everything back to the defaults for which the software was um, created, under which it was created. And that uh, just makes sure that you've got everything set up in the, uh, in the default, so there's nothing that's messing up your data, so you know exactly what's happening. And in the uh, reveal, we have a ability in the file dropdown to restore analysis defaults. That's a global change, so everything will globally go back to its uh, to where uh, was you know set up at the natural setup point. But we also have another feature not a, not available in Metro Pro, and that is we can restore the defaults of any uh, setup. And here again in the analysis tools, which you can open with the abacus here. It has the ability in each one to restore defaults. So by clicking that, the defaults are restored, and that occurs in every single one of these uh, setups. So it allows you to make sure that even if you get too far afield in any single one, you don't have to reset everything in your program if you're setting up a special program, but you can restore the defaults there. So in Metro Pro, there's two other items which are main control items. Uh, there's the measure control, which brings up part numbers, serial numbers, so these are kind of attributes of the measurement. And then the different types of uh, measurement uh, parameters, like what they call interferometer scale factor and other items, uh, wavelength in and out, so the kind of parameters of the acquisition and items like minimum modulation and control of the camera. So there's many measurement controls and some attributes. And then there's a second uh, one, the analyze controls, <coughs> which has the, uh, the different remove buttons and whether it's auto aperture is on or trim and, and then there's some filter functions. The note is that in uh, reveal all these same controls are available but in a way that makes them cleaner. If you look at measurement control here, and which is now hiding the analysis controls. Um, if I asked you, is the um, uh, reference subtraction on? You have to look through everything to find out if it's on, and then, oh, here it is, and then you can click on and off. So uh, in there's no kind of something drawing your eye to it, so it's a little bit confusing. And of course, it hid this uh, window as you're looking at that. So if we go over to reveal, we have here the different um, different functions, which are all again, which are in those two windows that you saw in uh, in Metro Pro. So f let's just go for instance the auto frame masking, which we call, which is part of the minimum modulation uh, function in in uh, Metro Pro. So I'm going to go back to Metro Pro and open that up. And here we have mid mod percent. So in Metro in Metro Pro, it's a percentage, and the normal way of setting this up is to um, somewhere between seven and fifteen would be the number, and you continue to change until you see your data clean up. So it's kind of a uh, iterative process to make that happen. Well, in Reveal, there is a, a tool, <coughs> diagnostic tool, to help you set this. So if we click on the diagnostic. Uh, window, the screen here, you'll see there's an intensity map and a modulation map. And by looking at these, and these correlate to the modulation threshold and the intensity threshold. So looking at modulation, we can actually query this and see that there's a one count of uh, modulation and it goes up to 98 here in this uh, data set. So being at 20, it's plenty, uh, the threshold's excellent to clip anything outside the actual data. And then intensity here is 103 counts on the A to D and about 10 counts here. So again, the intensity is set well um, above the um, black and yet below the white. So we end up with a nice phase map. So as you change these items relative to the measured numbers off these two plots, you can actually see what happens here. So a more deterministic method to set those versus guessing it through. So next let's look at the uh, masking of data. <coughs> For Metro Pro, you click on the mask data icon 
which brings up the masking editor. And you have the ability to set up in the fringes or the data. And the fringes are the, uh, the actually the camera. So you can set up a uh, mask on the camera. And the data is the phase map or the phase data. So you can set up here. So it's two places you can set up masking. So going back to reveal, you can set uh, masks on any number of analyses and I'll again just show you the phase and the camera. So let's go over to the phase screen though you could do uh, masking it from here but let's just go over to phase and in the phase map you have the orthogonal cursors but you also have the ability to set up masking. In the lower right here is the universal toolbar. So as we click that it opens up this toolbar which has the mask icon. So we click the mask icon and all the mask tools open up. So let's just, if for instance, we're going to put a circle, we put the circle up, and we're going to change that circle, which now is an exclude to an include, and then we're going to close that and apply it. As you see, now we have that mask. To remove it, we simply click on it, select it, and push, put it in the trash and close it and we're back to where we were. So that's a good example of masking in the phase map. So if we go over to the frames, which is the actual frames that were acquired, we can set a mask here too. And the protocol is exactly the same. Clicking the universal uh, toolbar and then the mask. And then you can select again from any of the uh, masking uh, icons and set up any type of mask you want. Masking also will be covered in a future tutorial, so you can uh, for more detail. All right. So back to the main menu. Looking at a couple other features of of reveal, you'll see that there are in the left hand far left are these applications, and these applications are everything that's been loaded. And for instance, as I mentioned in the analysis controls of MetroPro, there's filtering. In the Fourier uh, application, there's MTF, PSF, PSD results, and all the filtering controls. Then there's the uh, ability to do wedge, PHOM, prism, radius of curvature, which can be attached to a laser or encoded scale, and corner cube. So your applications are found here which is somewhat different than MetroPro, where if you have MetroPro to access any of those, you have to actually close the data, and then here are your icons sitting on the desktop. So you have, um, a, instead of being immediately available, you have to close it to, to find the others. One other item to uh, note is we can have in, uh, in the reveal, we can actually uh, add uh, new uh, new items and uh, for multiple views. So we can add a second measurement, third measurement, fourth measurement. So you can actually look at the measurement you had and then the next measurement, and it gives you ability to put many of these up. And this is a, another uh, good reason for 64 bits. So it's basically almost memory is unlimited, so this is all possible to do. So that's a quick overview of Reveal and MetroPro to give you some examples of how they're very similar and in other ways the more powerful approach of modern software.